Hey guys, Sam from Ballarat E-Bikes. I wanted to shoot a quick movie on these really flexible little DC to DC converters, uh, and they're really handy in the DIY e-bike space. This is a 900 watt version, uh, pretty cheap, and it's really handy for things like charging up to my 22S uh, stealth style uh, e-bike, uh, as well as at the moment I'm charging this little 7S pack that I rebuilt uh, for a guy with a vintage Aprilia. So it's got a target voltage of 29.4 set in the controls here. Um, at the moment it's in constant voltage mode. So it's climbed up to its target voltage. So it's flicking around slightly uh, with the BMS kicking in and out. Um, and it's consuming about 0 0.04 of an amp as the BMS balances and dissipates. I had that set to 2.5 amps which it climbed up to the nominal voltage on and then it started to back off as it achieved the target voltage. Um, you can get a non-digitally controlled version. This is, uh, I think, a 400 watt version. It's got two trim pots down here, which you can set the volts and the amps on. Now, obviously, I wouldn't leave this laying around for my kids, or I'd put this in some sort of project box, because there is live uh, voltage here, and that's not nice. Um, this one's made it up to an old laptop power supply. They will take a floating input, even a solar panel, which is really handy if you want to charge directly off a solar panel. And probably the best bang for buck is a, an old PC um, server power supply. Christopher Parham has some excellent YouTube videos on those, so I won't cover that off. The only, one, uh, the only issue with these digital ones is there is a known fault in the software in that if you set the input, leave the input voltage uh, higher than the target output voltage, it will actually climb away uh, almost infinitely, and that's not a good thing, as you'll probably realise with charging lithium-ion batteries. You'd never want to go over 4.20 volts per cell. So there's a wrap-up, guys. Uh, hopefully that's some use to people who want to get more out of their DIY e-bikes. Cheers.